Hello guys, good afternoon. So, in this tutorial or video, we are going to deploy our ASP.NET web API to a web server. Okay, so this is the this is the projects that we have. So all we have to do is just to publish it, right? And then. Okay, so delete existing files. Uh, so that net core treatment one and portable. Okay, so it will be here. Just publish folder. Okay, so but I need to set this delete existing files to true. What is that? The private one. Yeah, they did existing files. Okay. Right, so we click publish. <clears throat> so it's done. So it's now here in the our folder. We need to get it. It will be here. Release. That network should be gone. And this is the one published, so you can see it's uh, 20, it's already 20, today. so we package it. <clears throat> so we have no direct access to the server, so we need to copy and paste it. Of this, like this. All right, so my server, I need to go. Here, this is our, no, 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 before I go there, I need to access our Office 365. <clears throat> this is where I'm going to upload to OneDrive and then I'm going to download it when I'm already in the server. So I have folder here. So I have published before, but it's wrong. I'll delete it. Then I need to upload this. Uh, where is that? In the repo folder. Yes, sir. <clears throat> this is my first time to deploy that .NET Core API in our server. So. In the, in the morning, I have a video how I installed the IIS in the Windows 2009 server. So check it out. So this part, we are going to deploy our application, identity application. So it is here. We need to upload it first. This, this is done. Okay, so I'm download uploading it and then i go to the server this is our server uh, first i need to upload it first okay so let's go round trip <laughs> okay so i need to access the 65 here I need to access the one drive again here. This time I'm already in the server. Uh, okay, so I have to go here. One drive. <clears throat> so this is the folder, right? So I need to download this. Office done. So I need to copy this. Uh, I have a shared folder here, but this is not the server. Let's hit server to seven. That's the new server that I have created. I I ten to seven. I need 27, 6, 8, 
server and I have a folder here The previous one is incorrect. I mean, it's not incorrect, but there is already a, already a protected area. And since I not able to configure the SQL Server first, so I will remove. I remove first the authorization functionality. So we have already uploaded it, and this is now the server. So guys, basically before you you host it, first and first thing and foremost, if you have the server now, you have to this one you have to download this, install it in your web server. That is what we call uh, this one. I just downloaded and installed it lately. So I'm not hosting six points here. Also, I delete it. I hosting is p.net core 3.1 so I you have to browse or to to browse it in the internet the ASP.NET core 3.1 hosting builder so this is the one already installed it after you installed it you need to restart your IIS so you can just go to your in power shell uh, you have to run is at administrator and I, I guess reset like that. You reset your after installing this 3.1 hosting builder. So you can find it either in the Microsoft link. So you just look for uh, ESP that make for if you are using 3.1 hosting builder that hosting builder okay this one if you are in the need 6.0 so that's why you have to install this this one but for other version you need to find here uh, this is the current version so if you are still in that net 3.1 just like in my case so you need to find the older version. So what's the this one? So runtime. That needs something to install the .NET Core runtime is with the control builder. Install the .NET hosting builder. Direct download this one. Current and I'm looking for the old version. 3.1 uh, earlier version this one so you have to navigate this thing okay and since for my case i'm using 3.1 so this is the one that i downloaded so go download here what's your os so steam builder so after download you install it that's what i did and restart the iis the most important one and then in your iis manager Make it sure that, for example, if you are in the default website, so go to the modules, you should have this USP.NET Core module B2. Alright, so this is the one that I created. I will just, uh, yeah. So I need to replace this with the one that I just packaged. Because this version has already at authorization so i cannot access because my my server here is not yet configured so i cannot log in to this server. i just want to say that the application is really working or that that network is really working so we just need to see the weather forecast in our api and if it does work that's okay and you can configure the other one so I will have to extract this. <clears throat> All right, so these are the files. We have to copy it to our uh, image folder. Uh, the DWF, this is the one. 
All right. So let's go. So now in our IIS. So this one, uh, I, I already configured you. I need to restart. So I'm. This is using uh, this uh, pool. So if you can see the basic thing here, it's using that netcode version. Right? What other talking about no man is good. But let's say uh, it's, it's working that net version for there's no issue here. Oh, uh, so we browse. So that's okay for all for that one because our API. So we have to access the weather forecast. Weather forecast sample API. Oh, come on, guys. We are able to access now our <laughs> deployed project. So that's all. So I need to access it from other, not in this server directly, but in this server. So I have to uh, find here. That is I 3765 and then DWT. Right GWT API so GWT API okay. come on guys if we have to survive the video forecast weather forecast video forecast wow why is that working here? With your forecast. Oh, I misspelled it. It's so funny. This is my first time that I asked. I am very excited. Oh? Oh my god. Why is not working here? With your forecast. Oh my god. But the other one looks like this working. Hmm. I cannot access it from other server. So let me check it here. Uh, why if I run locally? It's working. But when I run from others, it's not working anymore. So this is local host. I did not see with the forecast. Let me see. WT API. And then. What the forecast? Oh, I don't have to. Name. Only with the colors with the forecast. That's the bit. Oh my god, I think I'm wrong. So from here, we do not have to specify this. Only the server name without the website and the API address. Oh, what? Okay, guys, it's all working now. I thank you. So that's guys who were able to host or to deploy our ESP.NET Core API in a Windows 2009 server that's freshly installed. So we did everything from the scratch. Uh, we installed the IIS. We configured the hosting builder for the .NET Core. And then now it's working. So we can access now our weather forecast. So the next video, guys, because there is an ASP.NET Core identity system here. So I need to configure first the SQL server. And then we can have the registration and then the login. And then with the forecast, for example, if this is protected, it's being authorized. It will not be viable without the valid token. All right, guys. Uh, come on. It's working now. So... If you like this 
please subscribe and share to your friends and don't forget to hit the bell button so you will be updated in the next video so this is really my real task and i am just showing or or making a video in order for me to have a reference and as well as for others who are starting and maybe this will be helpful for you as well guys especially if you're just starting so me too i'm just also looking for youtube on how to do it and following the steps and i did it in myself so i sh i'm sharing it to you and so you did it for yourself also and all of us will become expert in the next time because the first time is the the challenging one okay so don't forget to subscribe and comment and it'll inspire me to continuously share my video apple work here so bye bye guys